All right, welcome back to another LMMS pre-tutorial. Um, I was on Reddit and somebody asked a question about Zen Add Sub Effects, which is a plugin with um, LMMS, and you can't use the automation track with, um, you can't use the uh, pitch bend feature when you're in your piano roll with certain plugins and definitely not with Zenad sub effects. And I'm going to show you how you can actually do that. All right, first off, let's go to our desktop from our desktop. Come into your desktop. We're going to create a new file, a new folder. Let's rename this folder. We're going to call it Zen sample track or Zen sample guitar. Let's call it guitar. And click enter. So now we have over here on our desktop, we have Zen sample guitar. Now this is a very important step. I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're doing just yet, but this is a very necessary step for the process that we're about to undergo. Now we're going to open up LMMS. This LMMS may look different from yours. I think you're probably working with 1.1.2. If you're working with the older version, this, if you come up here, follow my cursor, is 1.2.0 RC7. And the RC7 means release candidate 7. And this is, I, I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be the new face of LMMS. Um, I recommend you go to your LMMS um, main site, the .ios site, and um, go down. You're going to see the, the main one to... Uh, download and then you're going to see the next one to download is going to be your beta candidate and whether you're working in 32 bits or 64 bits um windows i don't know apple whatever but i'm working with the windows 64 bit beta version of rc7 in lmms i'm not going to go into the differences because the, dis the differences aren't all that great they're not that dramatic um it's essentially the same. I mean, you have your song editor, your FX mixer controller rack. It's just that the uh, graphics look a little bit different. So it's not a big deal. You can follow along even if you're working with the older older model. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need any of these things over here in the song editor for this particular tutorial. So I'm going to left click on the gear icon, remove. Left click, gear icon, remove. Left click, gear icon, remove. Left click, gear icon, remove. Now I'm going to go to my presets. Okay. Left click on my presets and come down to Zen Add Sub Effects. Left click on Zen Add Sub Effects. Left click on the arrow beside Guitar. And then I'm going to drag and drop my 001 distorted guitar mm. into my song editor. Okay, now I can click out of my presets. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my piano roll. Double left click in this first measure here. Open that up. Um, one big change, one big difference between 1.1.2 and this beta version is that the numbers are all shifted to the left so that it, it indicates where the next measure starts. So you have measure 1, measure 2. This is not 13. This is measure 3, measure 4, measure 5. Okay, so that's one minor change that has occurred. We're going to come over here to this A note right over here. Sign notation. Let's drag this notation out for two measures, okay? So we're going to stop at the beginning of the third measure here. So this is two measures. <clears throat> now, just follow along right now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Export, okay? Then we're going to go to Desktop, and we're going to go to Zen Sample Guitar. And this is the folder that we just created at the very beginning of this video. OK, so let's open up. That's our destination. That's where we're going to send this note. OK, we're going to change the name to Distorted Guitar. We're going to change it to Zen Distorted Guitar. one and we're going to save it now the file format here is asking as we're going to export it 
we want to save it as a WAV file. You have options. You can save it as a compressed OGG file, or you can save it as a compressed MP3 file. I have not tried to import any MP3s into LMMS so far, but I know for a fact, 100%, that it can read WAV files, so I'm going to export it as a WAV file. Next thing, I'm going to come over to Interpolation. I'm going to click on this arrow, and I'm going to uh, click Sync Best Very Slow, okay? And then we're going to hit Start. Now I'm going to X out of this particular window right now, and we're going to go over to our Home, okay? Our Home icon over here on the far left-hand side, follow my cursor. Single left click. We're going to go to Desktop, open that up. And we're going to come to Zen Sample Guitar. And this is the file which we just created. Um, whoops, click the wrong arrow. Click down here. Let me unclick, just so you know. So we clicked on Zen Sample Guitar. Now we have a sample. We're going to left click, drag and drop over into our song editor. And we can click out of this. Now we're going to double left click. <clears throat> Open up our piano roll for the Zen Distorted Guitar Wave. Come over to our A note, which is our default note, and assign that note. So the next thing I want to do is I want to open up our Distorted Guitar 1. Okay, before we do that, let's notice the icons here have changed now. This icon here is for Zen Add Sub Effects. Okay. Let me show you. Instrument Plugins. You see this icon here for Zenad sub effects is the same icon over here for Zenad sub effects. Meanwhile, this icon here is an icon for your samples. Let me open up a sample, uh, miscellaneous, and you you see that that note right here. That's going to be a sample indicator. We can close that out. So first, we're going to open up our distorted guitar and Zenad sub effects. Double left click. <clears throat> Uh, now what we're going to do is play it. Okay. Next we're going to open up our Zen Distorted Guitar, and this is the sample which we've just exported and then re-imported as a sample. Let's open it up. Play it. Now, they both sound very similar. If they're not identical, I don't know, but they're very similar to each other. So I'm going to show you what happens with um, Zenad sub effects and your pitch bend. Let's double click on your Zenad sub effects note, and we're going to come up here to our pitch bend feature. Okay. We're going to left click on our pitch bend feature, and that's going to open up. Another big difference, or small, it's actually a small minor difference, if you're working with LMMS 1.1.2, is here you have 16 squares per measure, and here you're going to only have 8 squares per measure when you open up your automation editor. So just be aware that you're going to do everything in half if you're dealing with um, uh, the, uh, the new version here that I'm working with, the uh, RC7. Now I'm going to come up to the top left hand corner here, left click, and I'm going to click stay on top. That way this is going to stay on top of this window when I'm, when I'm working with it. I'm going to come here to my draw tool. Now what I want to do is I want this note to stay, let me come up here to my draw tool. What I want here is I want the note to stay the same, and then I want it to pitch bend. I want it to go up an octave and then back down an octave at the very end of the note. And I'm going to come over here. So this is on the second measure that I want that to occur. So I'm going to come here, click at zero. I'm going to come over eight, four boxes, and then come up to 12. And this is going to raise it 12 semitones or an octave. OK. <clears throat> now, if you're working with 1.1.2, you're going to come over eight of those little boxes. But it's the same difference. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come over four boxes here and then come down to zero. And I want to drop that. Now, if we notice up here, it's going to, this is the same notation as this. 
Okay. What this is doing is going up 12 semitones and then back down 12 semitones. And let's take a listen right now. Absolutely nothing happened. We achieved nothing by doing that. It was in add sub effects, and you never will. It does not respond to that particular pitch bend. Now let's come over to the uh, the wave which we've exported and re-imported out of Zenad sub effects. Double left click, open this up. Okay. Now we're going to go to our pitch bend mode. Left click on the note. And we're going to do the same exact thing we just did before, all right? So we're going to come over to the second measure, to the beginning of the second measure, click at zero, okay? We're going to come over four, and then we're going to go up 12. And you see how this corresponds to this grade right here? Is this grade right here, so it lets you know. Now we're going to come over going to go over four and then back down to zero. If I can get it there. Good. Now, we've done the same exact thing that we did with the distorted guitar was in add sub effect, but we're now doing it with a sample, which we've created a waveform. All right, so now let's take a listen and see if we've uh, made any progress here. So obviously we've we've uh, bent that pitch, which we couldn't do with the distorted guitar. And let me show you one last thing. Um, we have our double or, or single left click on your Zenad sub effects, and then single left click on your um, Zen distorted guitar sample. And if you notice, this is the normal audio file processor that you've seen in my previous uh, pre tutorials. This is something entirely different. Zenad sub effects is its own universe in and of itself. Um, you can open up that GUI and you can just go to town creating your own instruments and doing all kinds of really great stuff. I don't mess with Zenad sub effects too much. What I'll do is what I just done right here. Um, just export it, export the sound as a wave and then import it where you can use it on your audio file processor. Now take a look at this wave right here. Come over to the far left and you can increase that wave's sound. So you have a control over the sound like that. You can <clears throat> uh, add effects. You can check your arpeggios and chords and stacking. And this is the biggest thing right over here to this icon. If I click this icon, you got nothing. Okay, you don't have any of these controls. Your delay, your attack, your hold, your decay, your sustain, your release, your amount, you don't have any control over that over here. You're gonna have to open up your GUI, which is, like I said, it's a, it's a whole nother beast altogether and I don't fuck with that. You can take um, tutorials on Zenad sub effects if you like, I don't even mess with it. Okay, and I believe that's it. So if you follow along with this tutorial, you might not get it at first, what's going on but um maybe you know try to try to watch it a couple times follow along slowly do exactly what i do and um you'll come up with your own method later once you get a grasp of it listen i appreciate whoever asked that question and on reddit i appreciate that that inspired me to make this video and there's somebody else who inspired me to get on release candidate seven so i'm trying out the newer version so um yeah i hope you find this helpful and i'll see you next time